In this video, I want to go through uh, an old school convolutional neural network architecture that comes from a paper by Jan LeCun, and the network is called Linet. The Linet architecture looks like this, and it starts with a 32 by 32 image uh, input. And uh, in the in the first layer, it uses a 5 by 5 kernel with a stride of 1, padding of 0, uh, and gets it to 28 by 28. Uh, it also uses a out, out channels of this to be six, uh, and then in the next layer, uh, the Linet architecture uses something a little bit unique, uh, but essentially it's an average pool layer with a kernel size of two and a stride of two, essentially halving the input size, so twenty eight becomes fourteen. And then in the next layer, it uses the same five by five uh, kernel, and uh, stride of 1, padding of 0, to get it to 10 by 10, uh, and also uses the out channels of, of that layer to be 16. Uh, then in the next, it uses the average pooling layer again to half the input, and then uh, it uses the 5 by 5 kernel again. So it, it uses a 5 by 5 kernel with a stride of 1, padding of 0, and gets it to 100, and the output channels is 120. So this is a convolutional layer with 120 uh, channels, one and one by one. Then it uses a fully connected layer, uh, linear layer, with uh, 120 to 84 nodes, and then again a linear layer with 84 to the 10 outputs. I've summarized the Linet architecture here. So we use a 32 by 32 input, and this might be a little confusing since the Linet architecture was was built for the MNIST dataset, but the MNIST dataset has 28 by 28. And um, I'll reference to the paper. But essentially, this was improve, uh, believed to improve the performance. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is actually true, because modern architectures don't use this, but that was the reasoning behind it. And then we just use a 5x5 five five kernel uh, average pool, 5x5, five five, average pool, and another conv to 120 channels. We flatten it, we use a linear, um, so 120 to 84, and then another linear uh, for the output, which is 10. So this is just the reference we can use. So let's actually try to build this. So we're going to use class Linet, and we're going to inherit from the NN module. Define the init. And the first thing we always have to do is call super of linet and initialize the parent method, which is the NN module. And uh, one thing is that so linet uses 10h and sigmoid activation functions. Uh, we're we're going to use relu instead because. Uh, I mean, there's no reason not to use ReLU. It's the only reason was that it wasn't invented at that time. And the, really, the goal here is to understand the architecture, not to implement every single detail as Lacoon did. So we're going to use another weight initialization as well. But really, the, yeah, so the goal is to understand the, the general uh, architecture. So we're going to use self.relu to be nn.relu. We're going to create the pool layer that we're going to use, which is an average pooling. And a kernel size will be 2 by 2. Stride will be 2 by 2. And essentially, so the average pooling is what we use here and use here. We can uh, reuse the same pooling because the, the average pooling doesn't have any parameters. And then let's initialize the conv layers. So the first conv layer is going to be, uh, so let's see, mvn.com2d with an in channel of 1. Out channels will be 6. Kernel size will be 5 by 5. Uh, stride 1, padding 0. I don't think this is actually necessary to write. Um, but just to make everything clear, we write it. 
and then conv2 we're essentially going to use exactly the same the only thing that's going to differ is the number of in channels since this is the second conv layer we need to match the out channels of this to the in channels here so this is going to be six and lacoon uses 16 as out channels here and then it uses another conv with the exact same kernel and stride padding except we need to match again 16 and the out channels here is going to be 120. Then we need to have the linear layers. So n.linear, 120, 84. And then the linear 2, and then dot linear um, of 84, and the out for the number of classes, which is 10. Then what we want to do is that we want to define the forward. So we first run it through the conv layer, the first conv. Then we use the ReLU activation function. And we just call the output of this X. And then we're going to use uh, the pooling. And then we're going to use, um, so basically the same again, except we're going to run it through self.conv2. And reuse the pooling. And lastly, we're going to use again this, except com3. And then what we want to do is that we want to, so the output of this will be, yeah, so the number of examples that we have by 120 channels by one by one. We want to make this to the number of examples by 120. Essentially, we just want to make these into a single dimension. So self dot, uh, yeah, so x dot reshape. And we want to keep the first dimension the same, the number of examples, and then just minus one. Then now we can run it through the the linear. So x, self dot linear one of x, and just call this x, and then use the relu. Now for the last output, uh, yeah, so for the last output, what we're going to use is uh, just a linear, the linear 2, uh, no activation function on the output layer. So, and then we're just going to return x. And that's essentially the architecture. So let's see if we get it to run. We do this by creating some just random uh, input. And then calling the Lynette. And yeah, so we can do print model of x dot shape. So what we expect this to be is 64 by 10 because we have 64 images. And for each, we want to have like the prediction for each of the um, integer values. Um, yeah, so if we run this, damn it. Okay, so. Yeah, so here this should be conv three yeah great so then we get 64 by 10 now if you want to use this for the mnist uh, all you have to do you could follow my last video i did which you uses the mnist data set and all you have to do is just um, pad the images by two uh, and th then you can just run it through this architecture if you have any questions, then leave them in the comment. Uh, thank you so much for watching uh, the video. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one.